Imagine I am a business owner, like a painter or a landscaper, and I'm struggling to get clients. And there's two agencies that are trying to sell me Legion and other marketing services. The first agency's website looks like this. Let's give it a quick look, see what this first agency's website looks like. And the second agency's website looks like this. Let's give it a quick look, see what this looks like. The question that I have for you is based on their website, which agency would this business owner pick? The answer is very obvious to me, and it's this website right here. The problem is that I see a lot of SMMA and marketing agencies that run high level half websites, like the first one that I showed you. It may even be the case with you and doesn't get people to book compared to other agencies that have websites that don't suck. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I built this website so you can copy me, but before I do that, let me show you what this website actually looks like. <music> Alright, so let me show you how I built this website. When a prospect lands on your website, the first thing that they're gonna do is go ahead and take a look at the hero section right here. In my website right here, what I've done is that I've started with a dream outcome, a benefit, something that this prospect is gonna get out of when they work with us. In this case, it says add 10 to 20 new jobs for your business because I was specific, talking about the specific pain point that they have, it would make it that much more likely for them to book a call. This is another Another example and you see how this headline is very clear they say we don't run ads we grow businesses the value prop is very easy to understand they talk about a dream outcome growing your business instead of talking about their actual services or the technicalities as to how they actually grow businesses this cool effect goes over the different niches so power washing landscaping and painting businesses makes it so that it's very cool and it tells me exactly who this is for and who this is not for we model after some websites like this one right here you see that this is very interactive very eye-catchy as well a modern design solution for and then they list the different target avatars that they're going after and this is a different website that had that same concept get paid to answer your followers subscribers fans and so on if we take a look at this website right here the first thing that you notice as a comparison is that this headline is very generic it's not talking about a benefit an offer or a problem that a prospect might face it doesn't tell me anything about what this agency would do how they would help me and for that reason i wouldn't be too confident to book with them on the right right here we added an image that shows different data what you could do alternatively is have your vsl or something like that in here what this looks like on high level is this is a two column row in this case we added the headline and in this case we added an image if you wanted to make it so that this spans in the middle and then you have your VSL here at the bottom what I would do is first of all move this down here and then make sure that everything else is here in the center just like this the one thing that I don't like is that this your is in a secondary line so what I would do is make this a little bit smaller so let's just play around with 68 that looks a lot better to fix this what I would do is first of all get rid of this right here and then I would add a new row right here at another column and then move this just like this and then make sure that these ones are centered so let me just do that very quickly and then i want to make it so that this section is a little bit more tight so let me just click this right here and for the width i will make it so that it's 45 right here get rid of all of the different stuff that i don't need and i'm going to preview to show you what this looks like here you see that this is like a different way that you could present your hero section what we could add here is the vsl so if you had your vsl right here or a video showing testimonials and whatnot here's where you would be able to add it in this case if you wanted to get rid of this you could simply just do this right here if we go to this website right here right after the hero section we scroll down and we see that there's something about our story the truth is your prospects don't care they only care about what's in it for them or how is it that you've helped other companies that look just like them achieve the dream outcome that they want to achieve so instead of having something about our story or some boring stuff like what you see right here like lots of text very generic images what we did instead is add benefits or key data points right here so this amount of revenue added to our clients this many clients that we've helped we've been in this many years in business so this helps for social proof shows that you're a legit business and shows what sort of experience or resource results you've been able to bring to your clients in this case you see that for this tiktok ads agency after the hero section right here they had the different brands that they'd work with solidifying their social proof showing that they are legit coming back to this website you see that if i scroll down you see that we have this custom graphic which show exactly what is it that's in it for them so in this case it's very easy to understand i'm gonna get a calendar full of booked appointments 
and we talk about the problem again that they're facing. If we take a look at this website right here, it's just again a bunch of text that is not relevant, doesn't speak to the prospect, the whole layout, the design is not cohesive. I see a lot of marketing agencies have some sort of graphics like this, which show stock photos of people in suits shaking hands or some sort of like pie charts, but that doesn't really speak to the prospect as opposed as to having something that is a little bit more visually clear for them and shows the actual benefit that they're gonna be getting from working with your agency. For this other ads agency right here, that's kind of like what they did right here by adding this graphic where it shows this agency helps me make videos about my products, which will help me convert. Before I show you the services section of this website, I just wanted to show you this cool navigation bar that we added right here. You see that it has like this glow in the dark effect. Can I imagine like the whole theme of this website? Kind of similar to what we saw on some of these websites like this one right here, where they have very cool navigation bars. In this case, they have the frosted glass effect. What's cool is that as I scroll down, the navigation bar hides so it clears more of the page it's easy for your prospect to just read and consume the content but as soon as they scroll a little bit up the navigation bar comes back in very smoothly making it very easy for them to get in touch no matter where they are on your website now for the actual services page you see that as i scroll down the different services come very nice very interactive instead of talking about a service they're talking about a dream outcome we get leads and book them in your calendar that's a lot more clear than talking about lead gen agency with facebook lead generating techniques and here we talk about we help your stuff increase conversions at the same time we added custom graphics that we built on photoshop instead of having stock photos making sure that everything that we add on this website supports our initial claim right here. On the other hand, a lot of the websites that I see on high level have a services or system section that looks just like this. First of all, they have a layout that looks boring, generic, and doesn't stand out. And second of all, instead of talking about benefits, they talk about a bunch of technical terms and advertising terms that don't really mean anything to a prospect. So in this case, cost per lead optimization, cost per click management. For a prospect, this doesn't mean anything at all. And I see this in a lot of high level websites. These images are very generic and don't help illustrate the point even if this was actually clear for the testimonials these look very generic and it seems like they could be fake what you can do instead to make it so that it's a little bit more legit is if you take a look at what we did right here first of all what we did here is we wrote real results from real clients and then we had different case studies we made sure to include the actual benefit so from this to that this many new appointments booked and this much revenue added in this time period not only that but if you're able to add a video testimonial of a prospect right here that's going to make it so that it's even more effective builds that social proof and makes it so that people actually book themselves on your website the way that you can do this on high level let me just show you very quickly what that would look like is we added a headline right here and then we made it so that there's different sections, all of them being two row columns. We added some space in between. So what you can do so that this doesn't look tight is add some margin both at the bottom, at the top. And that's how you make it so that you add some space and make them like separate, just like that. This is how we design the how we get your results section. So it's like how we get your results in four easy steps. Step one is setup, step two traffic, appointments, and then optimization. So showing the prospect, what steps are we gonna take to help them get those results? Another way that you could present this is how we saw in this marketing agency right here is that they had four easy steps just like this so these are the steps that we'll take number one is onboarding and setup number two campaign design number three engagement and so on so just making it so that you take your prospect through what the journey will actually look like what this looks like on our website is that we added two rows one after the other and we played around with the spacing in the columns to give it that cool effect or cool spacing that you see right here now of course in mobile what this would look like is if you take a look at this right here you see that is just one card after the other making it very easy to see as they keep scrolling down the website towards the end we have this section right here so it says ready to scale these are the three types of customers that we help solopreneurs wanting to get two to five more jobs a month corporate wanting to get six to twenty jobs and so on so they can pick the one that they want once the prospect actually goes ahead and clicks the book a call now what that page looks like is something like this we made it so that it has a two column row on the first column we have some text and i'll break down what that is in just a sec and on the second one we have the calendar in this case you see how we're qualifying our prospects even more so we say this is not for you if you're making less than this amount if you don't have any case studies and by adding this we do two things first of all we make it so that we actually book qualified leads but we also make it so that we 
portray that we don't just take anyone, but we take a very specific prospect and we can help them solve a very specific problem as well. This qualification process right here, we saw in other companies. So for instance, if you take a look at this right here, you see that they said this is perfect for companies that, and then they went ahead to describe the target avatar or companies that they work with. Hopefully you can take away some of the key aspects that I mentioned on this website to make sure you improve your website and don't end up with a website that sucks just like this. If you're a marketing agency owner and you don't have the time to build a website just like this, you don't want to learn code, you don't want to build custom graphics just like this, and you want to have a website that is ready to go, click the link in the description and get your own copy. A website like this would usually cost 2000 3000 even 5 thousand dollars but you can get it for just a fraction of the cost so click the link in the description and get your own copy the first three people that use this test scan code can get this exact website or anything on my store 30 percent off so you can have a winning website that doesn't suck that can help you stand out